My name is Craig Sipes and I teach at Washington Prep High School in LA Unified School District. I love Trash for Teaching for many different reasons and one of the reasons is that it inspires me. Just being there with, with the people, the staff that works there, to uh, meeting there with other science teachers. As well, the materials uh, are are game changers as far as my teaching is concerned. I now get to do project-based activities which I found very, very difficult to do um, before Trash for Teaching. And the materials are inspiring in and of themselves. They're, they're different shapes, different colors, different sizes, and it's, it's pushing them to think and create and to try things. I'm most passionate about seeing the kids in action. You know, sitting, working on their project, helping one another, trying to troubleshoot, getting frustrated at a time, then trying to solve where they get stuck, maybe have multiple solutions, try one at a time, trying to learn from their mistakes, and the look on their face at the end when they got it is what makes me the most happy. Welcome to the Three Days Institute of the Los Angeles Unified School District Symposium in collaboration with Trash for Teaching. This collaboration is important on many levels. First, we're giving our teachers and students hands up on what's coming the new shift in science education and the premise of the next generation science standard is integrating engineering into science practices. In the first day we met together, eighth grade and physics met together, we worked together to look at how the next generation science standards compare with the current California standards and then we broke out. Physics went to one room and worked on a couple of physics units and the eighth grade teachers went to another room and worked on an eighth grade unit. Day two, we continued to stay separated. Physics worked on uh, another unit and the eighth grade teachers worked on, on a, a separate unit. And day three, we came back together and discussed how to implement project-based learning in classrooms. Then we worked individually uh, or in small teams and designed our own. All the teachers designed their own lessons using the Trash for Teaching materials, designed their own lessons and then in the afternoon presented them to the whole group. This is the Conservation of Energy Unit and in the Conservation of Energy Unit the culminating activity is a full class Rube Goldberg machine, the ultimate chain reaction recycling machine where students work together in groups and they work in pieces to make one chain reaction machine that links from one side of the classroom all the way through to the other side of the classroom and ends up recycling uh, a plastic bottle. I'm Michael Lusk, physical science teacher for LAUSD at Washington Prep High School. The kinematics unit is a hands-on approach to looking at motion and how motion interacts with the world through the use of materials provided by Trash for Teaching to construct a mousetrap car and use technology to understand scientific principles. Hi, my name is Evan Dvorak and I teach physics and AP physics at Jordan High School in Watts. I was a member of the facilitation team that ran the Summer Institute here at Trash for Teaching and in particular I helped design the forces unit. That unit had a culminating project where students build their own glider and there's an engineering challenge uh, where within the constraints of the problem they have to design and assemble a glider to cover the greatest distance. In order to be successful in this challenge, students have to work through all the activities in the unit, which include uh, discovery and very constructivist-based approach of uh, Newton's first law and Newton's second law, as well as Newton's third law. In working with these materials in my classroom the past year, um, I've really seen students become engaged uh, that otherwise were not engaged in the class. And while that's not the full story uh, of teaching a student, at least it's the start. My name is Jeff Payton. I've been uh, teaching at Orchard Academy for the last two years. I was really in charge of the forces in motion part. And what we did is it's all based on this idea of building a car. And when you're building this car, it's a balloon car in which the students are investigating what causes something to move, 
What is the, what are the different factors of motion? How do you measure it? How can you change that? How can you influence it? How can you change the force? How can you change the kinetic energy, the potential energy? My name is Joshua Marifal. I teach 8th grade science at Los Angeles Academy Middle School. The chemistry unit was to involve students in a constructivist approach where students are using T for T materials to investigate and to explore atomic configuration, compounds, conservation of mass, exothermic and endothermic reactions, as well as other chemistry content. At the beginning, students are given the challenge to create a product that uses an exothermic or endothermic process to self-warm or self-cool itself. This real-world product is really what I'm excited to see. And our product is the emergency warming glove. When you combine the chemicals with the water, what you're going to find is you get an exothermic reaction. It starts off being at just 25 degrees Celsius and warms up to a nice toasty 41 degrees Celsius. Uh, my name is Paul Su. I'm the project manager for the School Improvement Grant. The School Improvement Grant is a federally funded grant uh, given to school districts to turn around some of the lowest performing schools. Given that the next generation science standards really emphasize uh, engineering and the application of, of science, um, we had to find a partner who can support um, project-based learning. From what I know, there's no other organization that has the resources or capacity to do that. And so that's why we chose Trash for Teaching as a partner.